everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today I'm gonna be showing how you can wirelessly control your 3D printer directly from your computer with this $10 module that you can pick up off of Amazon and it is crazy easy to get up and running. So I am so excited about this. I just received my chips here in the mail that I ordered off of Amazon for a handful of my Neptune 2s and I've already got it up and running here and it only took a handful of minutes to set up. But first, let me actually stop this print, not by using the interface on the Neptune 2, but actually through Cura itself. So here within Cura, I can monitor my print and I can actually stop the print here. And there we go. First of all, a huge thank you to a lot of the folks over on the Neptune 2 Facebook group. I was able to leverage a lot of information that was posted there about what chip I needed to purchase and then how to actually set this up. And before we get too much further into this, I am gonna mention that this is specifically in place for the Neptune 2, the Neptune 2S, or the Neptune X. This might also be compatible with other 3D printers that are out there, but I haven't really looked into it beyond this because I have a fleet of Neptune 2s that I'm working on getting up and running here, and I'll be showing off in a future video. So once you get your Wi-Fi card in the mail, obviously you're gonna to wanna to get this unboxed. Uh, you'll see here it's got one green pin side and one black pin side. Keep that in mind because we're gonna to need to carefully align those when we go to install this. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is go on to the bottom side of your Neptune 2, remove the screws on the bottom to access this main board here. And what you'll have is a chip slot here that's gonna have a corresponding green side here and a black side. And all you have to do is carefully install this board directly into the printer. Make sure your printer is unplugged, powered off, all that good stuff. You can then seal this back up. There's no firmware updates or anything like that that you need to perform. There is a single text file that Elegoo has provided that you're gonna to need to update with your Wi-Fi settings. Inside this text file is probably the most complicated part of this entire step, and it's really not even that complicated. You're gonna find the Wi-Fi section inside the document, and what you're gonna do is under Wi-Fi AP name, you're gonna set your wireless network name. Under Wi-Fi keyed code, that's going to be your Wi-Fi network code. This Wi-Fi cloud host, I'm honestly not sure what that does. The Wi-Fi list scan, I see set to zero. If instead you did not want to predefine your wireless network and password, you could set that back to one and then it will allow you to scan and input the actual password information directly on the touch screen of the Neptune 2. And then under disable Wi-Fi, you're gonna set that to zero. Now the next thing you need to do is with that text file, you're gonna save it to the micro SD card that goes into your printer. You then plug this into the printer and then power on your machine. It should recognize that that text file is there and then it's gonna boot through a, a quick cycle there. And then under your settings section, you'll now have a Wi-Fi option. Now this next step is completely not necessary, but if you wanted to go through this, like what I've done directly here is, I'm using the exact latest version of Cura directly from Cura on my machine. Elgu, when they send out their Neptune 2s, has their own Elgu version of Cura. Uh, I'm just using the latest and greatest version here. But one thing that's great about the Elgu Neptune 2 community is that there's someone by the name of Toiler, as I think that's how you pronounce it. It has created a GitHub listing where you can actually take the direct uh, Elgu Neptune 2 profile that was provided from Elgu and has a way to directly import it into the latest version of Cura. So I'll have links directly to that GitHub where you can run through that. That's what I'm using here and it works fantastic. So once you're in Cura, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go into the marketplace section of the app where you can download other extensions and plugins that you can work directly in Cura. And what we're gonna be looking for is under the community plugins is a, uh, a plugin called MKS Wi-Fi plugin. So you're gonna install that and restart Cura. So the next part here, we're gonna go up into the printer settings here. We're gonna go under manage printers. Then under the printers sections, 
uh, you're going to click on the MKS Wi-Fi plugin against the printer that you're looking to enable the Wi-Fi settings for. So once you have the plugin open, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the top checkbox selected, which is activating the plugin, and then that your Wi-Fi support is enabled, which is the next checkbox. And then you're gonna click on the add button, and it's gonna give you a little dialog pop-up, and you wanna take the IP address that was assigned by the 3D printer on the touchscreen interface on your printer and plug that in there. So I'm gonna do that here right now on mine. Then make sure to click connect to connect to your 3D printer. While we're in this MKS Wi-Fi plugin menu, if you've ever wondered why your previews for your files that you've sliced through Cura aren't showing up as little thumbnails on your 3D printer, well, here's how we can correct that. Come into the preview settings tab, make sure that the checkbox for screenshot support is enabled, have the first option selected as default, then the second entry as 100, and then the last entry as 200, and click close. Under the monitor tab, you can actually now control your 3D printer. So from here, I can home the X and Y. I can preheat my printer to a specified temperature. I can preheat the build plate as well. Under the more option down below, I can access the SD card and the files that are on my SD card. From here, I can actually delete files from the SD card as well. This is also where I could take files that I've directly sliced in another software and send them directly to my printer. And for this test, I'm just gonna load back up that Chep cube and show you how you can send it over to the printer. So here, you're gonna modify your slicer settings, your print profile settings as needed, then click the slice button, and you should now have two options down below. One is save to disk, which you'd normally do, then the other is send over to Neptune 2. I'm gonna click on the print over to Neptune 2. It might ask you to rename the file and it's gonna transmit the file over to the printer. It's depending on how large that file is, it could be a very quick process like we just saw right there. And now it's gonna begin the process of printing that calibration cube. The best part about this to me is that you don't even have to have your computer up and running while this is going. Once your print job starts, you fully transferred over the file directly to the SD card that's stored on the printer. And if at any point in time you wanted to cancel the print, you can do it directly from your printer or you can do it directly from your computer. Hopefully this video was helpful for a number of you that might've just recently got your hands on a Neptune 2 for the holidays, or maybe you're like myself and have uh, too many of these and are looking for an easier way to manage your files that you're constantly having to walk over and grab the SD card, then go back to the other room, to your computer, load those up and then walk back over to the printer. I know, I know, first world problems here. But I thought this was a really effective and cheap solution. Again, this was only 10 bucks. I was able to pick this up off of Amazon. It's like a two to three week wait though for the shipping on these. You might be able to find quicker shipping and it costs a little bit more over on eBay or Walmart or other sites like that. But I'll have some links down below where you can find those. I did also wanna take a minute to say a big thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. They're the makers of the Neptune 2, the Neptune 2S and the Neptune X, which I'll be showing off here very soon. I absolutely love these machines. There is a reason why I now own way too many of them. It's because they print amazing, are easy to maintain, and now I'm able to wirelessly control them. If you're interested in more information about the Neptune 2 series of printers, I'll have links to those down below, along with links to Elgu's other products like the Mars 3 and the Elgu Saturn. I just wanted to say thanks again for watching. I was so excited to get this in the mail and see how easy it was to get this set up. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. I thought this was just a, a really cool, easy to do concept. If it was easy for me, it's probably easy for a lot of you out there. And yes, I know you can do things like Octoprint and much more complex things like that, but this is such a straightforward, easy way for you to wirelessly control your printer directly from your computer. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.